welcome to this channel. I am here to have a chit chat with anyone that will listen. If you'd like, you can call me Lemon. But without any further ado, let's get into today's topic. For as long as I can remember, I've been a target. Grown men would gawk and glare at me before I was even aware of my body. I'm talking about ages four, five, and up. And grown women would stare at me, give me a side eye, sometimes even a stank face for more than a minute. And, you know, as a child, it's hard to understand why. Like, what did I do, you know? But it became very clear to me over time that it was my body. And it wasn't just my body. It was specifically my body type, you know? Um, If you're beautiful... And by beautiful, I don't mean beautiful from the inside. I mean beautiful that you fit society's standards at least a little bit. Then you probably have also experienced this treatment where you might be praised for looking a certain way, but you will definitely be hated. And if you did have this experience, then you know also that as a child, it's very confusing. Now, some of you may not know me, so I will describe my body type as well as I can for you. When I was a child, I had very wide hips and a humongous behind. Um, I would often hear, damn, you're a little thick for a child. I don't know why they thought that was a compliment. I would also hear that my thick thighs really stand out. I was under 10. (laughs) So, um... It doesn't help if you have a pretty face or not. You know, that's at least that's what I've noticed. Because having this body type that they call the hourglass or the Coke bottle or whatever they call it, most people would say it's a blessing. There are many that desire this body type. There are many that would kill, would hurt people, would hurt themselves, would undergo surgery, would do the most to acquire this body type. But then there are people like me that are born with it, a slimmer waist, wider hips, etc. And we are robbed of our, I can't speak for everyone, I was robbed of my innocence in my childhood. There was no such thing as just walking home, walking to the store. There was no such thing as just being. It was always a performance. It was always get up so I could see you. And I think the weirdest part for me was that my parents never stood up and said, like, hey, that's a kid. Like, don't don't talk to her or about her like that. And if you would have asked me if it was affecting me back then, I wouldn't know what to tell you. But today, when I look back and... 
I remember not wanting to go to certain people's houses, certain aunts, certain uncles, because of the way that they perceived me and verbally really said it out loud, like, like I was someone that it was okay to hit on or something. Now, that's only the familiar, like the mother's friends, the cousins, the uncles, etc. I can't even begin with the type of disrespect that I would get from strangers. And the weird feeling I would get noticing that everyone thought it was okay. It's okay. It's fine. Um, it's your fault because you have a great body. It's your fault because everyone knows that people like this body type. Too bad you're too young. My entire life I've heard very questionable things. Questionable justifications for the behaviors of Grown men and women just because you happen to have a certain body type. This is the society that we live in. It's weird to me that no one ever thinks of, oh, maybe we should change that, you know? Or maybe someone does think of that, but they never say anything. You know, if you never say anything, you're never going to do anything, etc. And sometimes I would find myself asking, why haven't I said anything? And I think the main reason for that is because I was in denial for my entire life. Because I'm supposed to be grateful that I look like that. You know, how dare I complain? You have the perfect body. Everyone wants that. How dare I even say anything? That shit is hilarious. Growing up, flaunting this body that I have, this big butt, this, this, and etc. Flaunting it would literally offend people. Like the stank face went from zero to a hundred as soon as I walked into the school. And it was so hard to understand, like how is this, how am I praised and hated by the same people. It's very confusing. Until this day, you know, it's hard to take a walk in peace. But it shouldn't be that way. You know, because I believe that there could be a world one day that I could just go for a walk and just be chill. Don't have to be worried about ooh, who's gonna like stop their car to talk to me or follow me home. And it's all because I have this specific body type. I think it's because no one taught these people boundaries. No one taught these people respect. And of course, when you try to correct them at 40, we all know that's just a setup for failure. There's just so much I really, like I know I began somewhere, but I, I don't know where to put the pin in. Like there is so many facets of this. It wouldn't fit in just one video. So 
So if there's anyone out there that feels the same way, that being beautiful hasn't always been the most beautiful thing, just know you're not alone. You know? Don't, don't feel as though that is all that you are. You are a person. There's something inside of you. There's a soul inside of you. There's a being inside of you. And even if others only recognize you for your body and your looks that you had nothing to do with, try to understand them. But be there for yourself first. You know, it's hard to know where to take this conversation, at least by myself, because all I can really reflect on is my own experiences, and Lord knows I have many. So, for this video. I will mention one experience that really hit me hard at the young age of 15. I was the type of kid that would mind my own business all the time because I did not like how certain people will talk to you today and talk about you tomorrow, etc. I would see them do it with their own peers, so I would generally stay away from most people. I'm just giving context here so you understand that why this came to a shock to me when this cafeteria lady that I would walk by every day without saying a single word to her, never acknowledged her even. Maybe it was a little rude of me to not even greet and say good morning, but it's a school. I'm not going to say good morning to everyone or anyone. This lady came to me and screamed it in front of the entire cafeteria, basically the entire school, that you for sure are not a virgin. That is literally what she said. And I was stunned. I, I was shocked. I had no words to say. And I was confused. I was like, did anyone ask her this? Or is it like a dare? I just confusion that's that's what it was for me and as I walked away I realized that this lady had just started the worst rumor of my life at the time 15 in front of me in my face like there there was nothing that I could say because I I didn't it didn't add up to me and at the time I was a virgin and it hit me so hard. I was already kind of the quiet kid. I was already massively bullied. For what? I don't know. I guess people are threatened when they see that you can be yourself and they feel as though they can't be. At least that's what my mom told me. So, going on in life, just in life, I always found myself questioning myself sometimes at night. Like, why did she say that? Nikoya Sali, like, where, what? There's so many questions. And one day I actually asked someone. I must have the courage, and Lord knows I have courage, to actually ask someone, why did that woman say that to me? at 15 and this person told me it's probably because of your hips see at 15 obviously my hips were a lot wider than most people because I've always had wide hips granted I would wear a lot of baggy clothes to hide my physical appearance because I knew the treatment that I would get 
It would be either extremely bad or extremely good, but fake. People will want to get to know you because of something that you have. Not because of who you are. So it was because of my hips. And it's crazy to think that this 15 year old girl felt like her life was ruined. And it was because of her hips. Hmm. I know that I would not want my daughter to go through that. But how much control do I, do I have over that? I I still have white hips. I still have this body type. And if I have a daughter, you know, I think everyone would think that she would look like me. And it dawned on me one day that there, there is a very small chance that I can change society's perspective on respect when it comes to women before my daughter's born. Does that mean I shouldn't have a daughter? Because, <laughs> like, sometimes that crosses my mind. Excuse me. Sometimes I think, you know, to prevent someone to going from exactly what I went through because they're going to look like me. Maybe just don't have a kid. But that's not something I would do. I've never stopped living my life because of others and their opinions and actions, etc. But it's scary because I know the trauma and the heartache and the pain that I went through and still go through just because I have a certain body type in this modern society where it's normal to just be disrespectful to kids, let alone to adults. Today I'm 22. Some people would consider me an adult. And... No sane person would want to have a child knowing that their child is going to go through that. That's been weighing heavy on my chest for years. And I bet there's more people that go through this. I'm not ungrateful for my body type. In fact, I'm very grateful that I even have an able body. That I can do stuff, I can run, etc. Those are things to be grateful for. But I cannot pretend. I cannot pretend like it's all been peaches and roses and whatever the saying is I cannot pretend like it was easy constantly questioning myself wondering if yeah, am I being treated like this because of my body or is it okay to wear this There are so many aspects of this that are just so hard to just deal with, let alone talk about. It's a challenge, but I'll do it. It makes me feel a little bit better. So I hope it makes you feel a little bit better if you ever experience anything like this. 
I write about it. I don't really talk about it that much. Except to now, to this camera of mine. So, that's really about it. That's all I can really say today before I have a mental breakdown. So, I appreciate you if you do listen. And if you would like to hear more, stay pending because I actually plan on making more of these videos. I just want to be honest with the human experience that I have. I can't really speak on behalf of anyone else. So, yeah. Bye.